okay good morning to all of you in this class we are going to discuss about degeneracy of energy states or levels of a particle in 3d cubic box having nano dimension or 0d cubic box that means when a particle will be confined in a 3d cubic box then what are the energy states and corresponding degeneracy we are going to discuss okay in our previous class we have been discussed about the derivation of the particle which is confined in a rectangular 3d nano box or 0d 0d rectangular box box or quantum dot in detail and we found that the general solution of the particle which is confined in a rectangular box or the normalized wave function is this one 2 by a root over root over of 2 by b into root over of 2 by c and this one in detail we have been discussed and the total energy of the particle <coughs> we found this one actually this one we found this one in detail we have been discussed here nx ny nz are called corresponding x axis y axis z axis quantum numbers so energy states and its value depends upon the value of nx ny and nz where nx varies from 1 to 1 2 3 and so on ny varies from 1 2 3 and so on and nj also varies from 1 2 3 4 and so on here nx ny nj not to be zero why not to be zero that also we have been discussed in our last class that if we are going to consider nx or ny or nj will be zero then the wave function will be zero the physical meaning of the wave function equal to zero means the particle not exist in the box hence nx ny nj not to be considered as zero this is the rectangular box case <coughs> so if we are going to consider cubic box then a equal to b equal to c so here uh, we are going to write a square here also a square a square so total energy uh, or the corresponding uh, total energy eigen values will be pi square h cross square by 2 m a square nx square ny square plus nz square corresponding wave function will be this one okay here you can see the wave function uh, for rectangular box is this one so if a equal to b equal to c so instead of b and c we can write a and a so here 2 into 2 into 2 that is your 8 by a q a root over of 8 by a q and this one sin nx pi x by a here is there n y pi y by b so instead of b we can write a instead of c we can write also a so this is the wave function of a particle which is normalized wave function normalized wave function of a particle which is confined in a cubic box and the corresponding total energy okay and this total energy depends upon the value of nx ny nz if we are going to vary nx ny nz we are going to get one one discrete energy levels okay <coughs> this thing solid we have been discussed and here if we are going to consider as nx and ny and nz starts from 1 1 and 1 so hence lower energy state will be uh, will be nx uh, equal to 1 ny will be 1 nz will be 1 if we are going to put 1 1 1 here it will be 3 pi square h cross square by 2 m a square this is nothing but your ground state or fast energy level this is your fast energy level or ground state so in today class we are going to discuss about <coughs> degeneracy of energy states or levels when the particle is confined in a 3d cubic box or 0d cubic box okay so let's start <coughs> we found the general expression of energy eigen values for different values of 
n x n y n z is this one for 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 a particle which is confined in a cubic 3d cubic box okay because degeneracy will be observed if more than one side length will be equal see here uh, if we are going to consider a cubic box then all the three side are equal <coughs> here we can found degeneracy and if we are going to consider a rectangular box having two sides are equal suppose along x axis length is a along y axis length is b b also uh, the same length here along x axis length is a along y axis also a and along z axis suppose the different length and here two along two axis uh, we have same length also we can observe the degeneracy here we are going to discuss about the cubic box and <coughs> for a box having two sides are equal how and what are the degeneracy states that we are also we are going to discuss in this class okay so main important content in this video is degeneracy of energy states when particle in 3d cubic box okay so here this is the energy eigen values for different nx ny nz in general is this one according to definition of degeneracy that we know we know as per the definition of degeneracy the quantum states or levels the quantum states or levels states or levels or energy states or levels whatever you can write are said to be degenerate if they have different wave functions but having same energy eigen value okay <coughs> suppose this is a energy state okay due to some co cause it has been degenerated or disintegrated like this suppose this is disintegrated like this with three energy states having energy value is same suppose this energy value is 10 this state having energy value 10 this state also 10 this state also 10 but as these states are different these states have different eigen functions different eigen functions different eigen functions but having same energy eigen value for a corresponding <coughs> parent state or parent level that means parent level has been disintegrated or uh, degenerated to another three energy states by some means due to some causes it has been degenerated so here as this parent energy level has been disintegrated or degenerated into three it will be called as three fold d generacy three fold degeneracy three fold degeneracy okay the same concept we are going to be consider for this case okay so here i drawn a table that we can easily uh, perceive for this case you can see that <coughs> here we have been considered the states energy states energy states here in this column we have been considered corresponding nx ny nz or quantum numbers the energy value in this column we have been uh, taken and this is the column represents degree of degeneracy right so first we have to consider if we are going to consider nx equal to 1 ny 1 nz 1 then it will be 1 square 1 square 1 square that means 3 pi square h cross square by 2 m a square which is nothing but your first energy level or ground state remember always that first energy level is your ground state this is the first energy 
level or state which is called as the ground state this is your uh, second second energy level or fast excited state okay you just add another column here the fast energy level or state is called as ground state second energy level or state is called as fast excited state third energy level called second excited state fourth energy level called third excited state and so on right so here we found that if we are going to consider nx equal to 1 ny1 nz1 then here z is small uh, nz1 then we found the energy eigen value 3 pi square h plus square 2m a square okay as we know that nx here nx equal to 1 2 3 and so on ny <coughs> equal to 1 2 3 and so on n z equal to 1 2 3 and so on so combinations of nx ny nz we can consider okay so what is the next combination that we are going to be consider for nx ny nz that we are going to get second energy level that that is, that is the important you can do in your rough okay here up to seventh excited state i have been evaluated and represented suppose in your exam uh, it is asked that what is the value of 10th uh, energy level value suppose it is asked that what is the energy eigen value of 10th energy level 10th energy level or ninth uh, excited state what is the eigen value that you have to find out okay so for that you have to do uh, somewhat rough work in your um, uh, rough uh, note okay so here you can see that if we, we are going to take nx equal to 2 ny equal to 1 nz equal to 1 that means 2 1 1 combination will be give next or second energy level that is your fast excited state so if i am going to put 2 here that will be 4 1 square 1 square 4 plus 1 plus 1 that is your 6 6 pi square h cross square by 2 m a square 6 pi square h cross square by 2 m a square suppose <coughs> if we are going to consider 2 2 1 then it will be higher energy you just put over here that uh, 2 4 2 square 4 4 4 8 this will be 1 9 so higher energy level so uh, the second energy level will be considered as 2 1 1 this 2 1 1 can be taken as 1 to 1 if I am going to consider 1 nx equal to 1 ny will be 2 nz will be 1 then also we can get the same energy value okay here you can see that 2 1 1 that means nx equal to 2 ny 1 nz 1 value is 6 pi square h cross square by 2 m a square by considering 1 to 1 that means nx 1 ny 2 nz 1 also we can get 6 pi square h cross square by 2 m a square similarly if we are going to consider nx1 nx1 ny1 nz2 also we can get 6 pi square h cross square by 2 m a square right so here the first excited state or second energy level is called as three fold degenerate three fold degenerate that means three quantum states observed having different eigen functions how it will be different eigen functions that i am going to be uh, discuss just wait three energy states having same energy eigen value so hence this second energy level called as three fold degenerate or degeneracy you can say three fold degenerate you can 
uh, you have to remember three four d generate so here ground state possible uh, quantum numbers are one 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 only so if i am going to be change alternate the, the ny value to nx nx value to ny then also we are going to get the same one 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 so hence ground state will be possible this one only that means ground state not to be degenerate so ground state energy eigen value is this one 3 pi square h cross square by 2 m square but degeneracy is nothing but non degenerate not to be degenerate right and here how these values have uh, the different eigen states or eigen functions here i uh, represented another figure that you also you have to draw in your uh, note that you can say here <coughs> you can see that this is your fast excited state this is your ground state for ground state we know that psi xyz in general the wave function is nothing but this one for 3d cubic box this one 8 by a q root over sine n x pi x by a n y pi y by a n z pi z by uh, z so here nx will be 1 ny1 nz1 we have to substitute okay so for the ground state the wave function will be 8 by a q root over sin pi x by a sin pi y by a sin pi z by a for the first sorry second level this is the fast excited state or this is the ground state or fast energy level okay fast energy level this is the fast excited state or this is the second energy level this one this one is your second energy level or fast excited state this is your uh, third energy level or second excited state this is your fourth energy level and third excited state and so on you have to draw another uh, uh, four energy levels by yourself here i represented up to third excited state and uh, here in the table we have seventh excited state um, information so up to fourth energy level or third excited state here i have been drawn um, but i suggest that you have to also draw for fourth fifth and sixth seventh uh, energy states like this okay here you can see this is your first excited state or second energy level this one is degenerated to three three energy states this one this one this one by considering 2 1 1 that means nx2 ny1 ny nz1 here nx1 ny2 nz1 here nx1 ny1 nz2 if we are considered like this the energy eigen values for this this and this are same 6 pi square h cross square by 2 m a square this one but if we are going to consider the eigen function for this one for this values of nx ny nz then the eigen function will be 8 by a q root over sine here nx is your 2 so it will be 2 pi x by a into ny is your 1 sin n sin pi y by a here j nz is 1 so sin pi z by a for this state the eigen function will be 8 by a q root over into here it is in 1 2 1 so it will be sin pi x by a sin 2 pi y by a sin pi z by a and for this one wave function will be root over of 8 by a q sin pi x by a because this is 1 1 2 pi x by a sin pi y by a into sin 2 pi z by a okay likewise we have to consider for second excited state or third energy level don't be confused always remember that first energy level belongs to ground state second energy level 
फर्स्ट एक्साइटेड स्टेट थर्ड एनर्जी लेवल इज कॉल्ड एज सेकेंड एक्साइटेड स्टेट लाइक दिस ओके इन द क्वेश्चन मे बी दे आर गोइंग टू बी आस्ट दैट वट इज द डी जेनरेसी ऑफ फास्ट एक्साइटेड स्टेट और सेकेंड एनर्जी लेवल सपोज इन द क्वेश्चन इट इज आस्ट दैट वट इज द डी जेनरेसी ऑफ फोर्थ एनर्जी लेवल विच इज नथिंग बट योर थर्ड एक्साइटेड स्टेट ओके ना वी आर गोइंग टू गो फॉर द सेकेंड एक्साइटेड स्टेट इफ वी आर गोइंग टू कंसिडर द सेकेंड एक्साइटेड स्टेट द एन एक्स एन वाई एन जेड वैल्यूज विल बी टू टू वन टू टू वन दिस टू टू वन कॉम्बिनेशन कैन बी रिटर्न अन अदर टू वेज दैट इज योर टू वन टू वन टू टू सो फॉर ऑल द थ्री energy states having the energy value will be how much here you can put 2 4 4 1 9 9 pi square h square h cross square by 2m a square so second excited state is three fold degenerate or third energy level you can say third energy level or second excited state is your three fold degenerate likewise <coughs> for fourth energy level or third excited state 3 3 1 will be the next one right if we are going to consider 2 2 2 2 2 the energy value will be uh, larger than this combination so just previously i told that uh, to find out the energy levels higher energy levels you have to do some rough work okay so uh, here this is represents uh, our second excited state or third energy level so what will be the next energy level so for that you have to put uh, uh, the different values of nx ny nz and you just check that what value will be the next what value will be the next suppose we are going to consider 2 2 2 the value is 12 pi square h cross square by 2 m a square if we are going to con consider 3 1 1 then the value is 12 pi square h cross square by 2m a square so this will be considered as fourth energy level or third excited state so for 311 or 131 or 3 oh sorry 113 for these three combinations have same energy eigen value 11 pi square h cross square by 2m a square so third excited state or fourth energy level is your three fold degenerate okay you can put 311 9 1 1 11 right next fourth excited state or your fifth energy level we can found when 2 2 2 considered for nx ny nz and the value will be how much 2 square 4 4 4 that is 12 pi square h cross square by 2 m a square it is non degenerate so in the question if it is asked that what is the degeneracy of fifth energy level is non degenerate or fourth excited state also non degenerate so don't be confused that suppose it is asked that fourth energy fourth excited state not to be fourth energy level this is both are different fourth excited state belongs to fifth energy level okay so you have to carefully you have to study the question i have a question here at the end of the discussion we have to do two questions one is belongs to your jam 2022 another is uh, belongs to the uh, another type of question <coughs> the next energy level can be found that is your belongs to sixth energy level or fifth excited state will be 1 2 3 combination so 1 2 3 nx1 ny2 and nz is your 3 so this can be consider by six combinations total six combinations see 1 2 3 can be considered 1 3 2 can be considered 2 1 3 can be considered 2 3 1 can be considered 3 1 2 can be considered 3 1 2 3 2 1 can be considered that means if we are consider any one of uh, these six we can get 14 pi square h cross square by 2m a square you just put 1 2 3 here this is 1 Two square four, three square nine, nine four one. That is your fourteen. Nine 
plus 4 plus 1 that is your 14 14 pi square h cross square by 2 ma square you just put 3 1 2 that is your here nx equal to 3 3 square 9 4 1 also 14 so 14 pi square h cross square by 2 m a square so here fifth excited state or sixth energy level is how many degenerate how many fold degenerate six fold because six combination can be possible six fold degenerate right so here if we are going to consider seventh energy level and or sixth excited state we can found nx 3 ny2 nz will be 2 so that means 3 2 2 or 2 3 2 or 2 2 3 uh, these are the three combinations only possible for sixth excited state or seventh energy level having same energy eigenvalue that is your 17 pi square h cross square by 2 ma square which is threefold degenerate likewise for eighth energy level uh, or seventh excited state that will be 4 1 1 or 1 4 1 1 1 4 that is your 18 pi square h cross square by 2 m a square okay so here you can see that suppose <coughs> this is your energy level belongs to seventh energy level seventh energy level or sixth excited state that is your 3 2 2 okay suppose you are going to be uh, you know you, suppose you are consider that the next energy level will be 3 3 2 this will be wrong only for that you have to do some rough work so if we are going to consider 3 3 2 then it will be 3 square 9 plus 9 plus 4 that is your uh, 9 plus 9 18 plus 4 22 we can get 22 but 16 plus 1 plus 1 that is your 18 so mistakenly if you consider that this is 3 2 2 and uh, uh, so 3 3 2 will be the next energy level at that time you will do the mistake so only for that you have to do the rough work that what will be the next energy level for the combinations of nx ny nj okay so here next energy level <coughs> after this one will be 411 or 141 or 114 right having energy eigen value will be 18 pi square h cross square by 2 m a square that is called a three fold degenerate right now we have to check the corresponding wave functions or energy sorry eigen functions so here for fast excited state here we have been discussed that this is the one energy eigen function this is another eigen function this is another eigen function if we have to consider likewise uh, if we are going to consider second excited state or third energy level that is your 2 2 1 or 2 1 2 or 1 1 2 then what are the energy eigen functions see for 2 2 1 it will be root over of 8 by a q sin 2 pi x by a uh, n y is 2 so it will be sin 2 pi y by a z n z is your 1 so sin pi z by a this is the wave function belongs to this degenerated state of this second excited state right for another degenerated state this is your 2 1 2 what will be the wave function that will be 8 by a q root over sine here n x is 2 so 2 pi x by a n y is 1 so sine pi y by a n z is 2 so sine 2 pi z by a likewise you can write for third excited state or fourth level uh, the corresponding n eigen functions of degenerated energy states so i suggest that here up to third excited state i have been um, uh, drawn next uh, energy state for the next energy state you have to do in your note okay this is my suggestion that you have to do so that is your fourth excited state is this one suppose this is this one is your fourth excited state okay fourth excited state having the uh, 
energy eigen value is your uh, 11 pi square s cross cross square by 2m a square and threefold degenerate this is your sorry fourth excited state no? fourth excited state is this one 12 pi square h cross square by 2m a square okay non degenerate case that means this is your um, uh, 12 12 pi square h cross square by 2m a square okay see here is the difference uh, here is the difference 9 to 11 2 is the difference but here 11 to 12 one is the difference so you just draw this level I, I drawn here but it has to be drawn here okay because difference will be one so if this difference is two the one difference will be here this level should be here okay you draw in your uh, uh, note so this is belongs to your uh, fourth excited state fourth excited state or uh, belongs to fifth uh, energy level energy fifth energy level and it has only one it is non-degenerate means only you have tried this one and it's a uh, nx ny nz values are two 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 likewise if we are going to consider uh, fifth excited state fifth excited state the gap is 2 12 and it is 14 fifth excited state have uh, six uh, fold degeneracy so this is two gap also we have to consider here uh, yes this is your fifth excited state fifth excited state fifth excited state or that is your sixth uh, energy sixth energy level and this one uh, is your how much Six fold, six fold degeneracy. Sixth energy level, fifth excited state. Six fold degenerate. So six fold degenerate. You have to uh, draw like this. This is one. This is another one. Three, four, five, six. So this is for. This is for one, two, three. 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, 2, 2, 1, 3, 1, 3, 2, 2, 1, 3, uh, then 2, 3, 1, 3, 1, 2, 2, 3, 1, 3, 1, 2, and 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1. So this is the 6 fold degenerate of fifth excited state or sixth energy level likewise we can write the uh, corresponding eigen functions uh, for each states if we are going to write this one for this one the uh, eigen function that will be psi x y z will be equal to 8 by a q root over sin uh, 1 is there so pi x by a into sin 2 is there 2 pi y by a into sine uh, 3 is there 3 pi z by a, right likewise we can write uh, the wave functions or eigen functions for all other five degenerated states <coughs> and corresponding eigen function of this one for this one is uh, how much x y z will be 8 by a q root over uh, sin 2 pi x by a sin 2 pi y by a into sin 2 pi z by a so this is the eigen function of this state which is non-degenerated okay belongs to fourth excited state or uh, fifth energy level and uh, here you can see that these all the eigen functions either consider this one or this one or any one of this one any one of this one these are all are normalized wave functions suppose we are going to consider this one okay so here psi psi star dx dy dz uh, integration from considering this one okay uh, 0 to a 
बिकॉज एक्स लॉन्ग एक्स एक्सिस इंटीग्रेटेड फ्रॉम जीरो टू ए वाई एक्सिस फ्रॉम जीरो टू ए जेड एक्सिस फ्रॉम जीरो टू ए वी कैन फाउंड वन ओके दीज आर ऑल नॉर्मलाइज वे फंक्शन ऑलरेडी वी डॉन नॉर्मलाइजेशन एंड वी फाउंड दिस वन एट बाई ए क्यू टू टवर राइट सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द डी जेनरेसी ऑफ द एनर्जी स्टेट्स फॉर ए पार्टिकल क्वांटम पार्टिकल कॉन्फाइंड इन ए और ट्रैप्ड इन ए थ्री डी क्यूबिक बॉक्स और जीरो डी बॉक्स सो हियर वन थिंग अगेन एंड अगेन आई एम गोइंग टू से दैट नॉट टू बी कन्फ्यूज दैट ग्राउंड स्टेट इज बिलोंग्स टू फर्स्ट एनर्जी लेवल फर्स्ट एक्साइटेड स्टेट बिलोंग्स टू सेकेंड एनर्जी लेवल सो टू इम्पोर्टेंट क्वेश्चन हियर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दिस इज योर क्वेश्चन बिलोंग्स टू जैम टू नंबर सिक्स नंबर सिक्स नंबर जैम टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू यू कैन फाउंड कंसिडर ए पार्टिकल ट्रैप्ड इन ए थ्री डी पोटेंशियल वेल थ्री डी पोटेंशियल वेल मीन्स थ्री डी बॉक्स ओके सच दैट यू एक्स वाई जेड दैट मीन पोटेंशियल इक्वल टू जीरो फॉर जीरो टू ए जीरो टू एक्स टू ए जीरो टू ए इन साइड द जीरो टू ए पोटेंशियल जीरो एंड जीरो टू ए वाई ऑल्सो जीरो जीरो टू ए जेड Also zero. That means uh, along x-axis the length is a. Along y-axis also length is a. Along z-axis also length is a. Uh, that means you can consider this one. A trap, a particle trap in a uh, uh, box, confined, not to be escaped, and uh, potential will be infinite everywhere except this range. Uh, other places the potential will be infinite. That means what particle. Fully trapped in that potential well. The degeneracy of fifth excited state. Fifth excited state will be how much? So here, fifth excited state is belongs to sixth energy level. Okay. So fifth excited state is your sixth energy level. That is your this one having fourteen pi square h cross square two m a square is your energy eigen value. And six fold degenerate, six fold degenerate. So the option will be this one. C will be correct. Okay. Now the particle is located in three D cubic well of width L. So cubic well is there. Cubic well. This is the cube. Length is L along x axis L, y axis L, z axis also L. Width Impenetrable walls could not be penetrated. Impenetrable walls means the particle could not penetrate uh, this uh, box. That means particle hundred percent trapped inside this box. Then the sum of energies of third and fourth levels. It is asked not excited state. It is asked third and fourth energy levels. So here, that's again and again I suggest that you just carefully study that in the question what it is asked, third and fourth level it is asked or third and fourth excited state it is asked. So here it is asked that third and fourth levels. Okay, third and fourth energy levels. So we have to consider third and fourth energy levels. That is your so called second excited state third energy level fourth energy level is your third excited state uh, uh, belongs to fourth and ener fourth energy level so corresponding um, eigen values are 9 pi square h cross square by 2 m a square here 11 pi square h cross square by 2 m a square you just add it it will be uh, 9 plus 11 uh, 20 pi square h cross square by 2 m a square 20 pi square h cross square by 2 m A square twenty pi square h cross square by two m a square, but two m a square not a square will be l square. Okay, because length is l. Uh, but here in the option it is two twenty god cancel it will ten. So this option will be correct. This one ten pi square h cross square by m l square. This will be the correct answer. Okay, this will be the your correct answer. Okay, so. I will be give the link uh, of this note 
in the description you can download write down in your note here up to this much i drawn up to fifth excited state i drawn i suggest you you have to draw sixth and seventh excited state and write down the note carefully and consider these two questions uh, this type of questions all, always asking in your different type of exams so thank you so much for watching this video uh, thank you